Wait, wait, wait. Before the video starts, hit the subscriber button. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. And hit the like button because you're already down there. Shout out to Tyler. What's up guys, my name is Wilson. It's currently 9.32 p.m. on a Wednesday. We've just hit 509 subscribers. I haven't posted a video in a month due to school and client work. In today's video, we're gonna be making some merch based off Tyler the Creator's Call Me If You Get Lost album. Now, this is gonna be a sick video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. As you know, today's video will be making some merch for Tyler the Creator's new album, um, Call Me If You Get Lost. First design, I wanted to get an old phone that reflects Tyler's whole aesthetic in terms of that 80s, 90s theme that he has going on with all his art direction. Um, I just ended up finding one on Unsplash after spending 10 minutes looking for one, which is kind of crazy. I love the whole design behind his album and cover art and promotional work. Honestly, I don't know who is behind Tyler's um, art direction, but all of Tyler's art is some of the best in the music industry behind the whole Cactus Jack um, branding because I think that's kind of sick also. I wanted to get the shadows and highlights out of the phone so I could go in and edit the colors. This is how you guys edit mockups. If you guys want me to make a full video on this, let me know and I can show you guys how to do it because you can use this in making mockups for cards, textures, whatever you want. You can basically use it to do this, I guess. Uh, you can see with the first design, I'm really focusing on the original art direction with uh, the stars. I use my personal star uh, pack, the Oasis star pack, uh, which I was originally going to draw in the stars, but then I realized that was going to take way too long and I, I really didn't have the mental energy at that point.
um, the design actually looks kind of plain. I went back in uh, to Illustrator and used the image trace tool to get the font um, out of the title. Uh, call me if you get lost, like the original title, because I couldn't find the original font they used. Um, if it's custom on, I really don't know, or someone just skewed it a little bit to match the aesthetic. Um, originally, I wanted to get the stamp on the travel card, but I couldn't find that by itself in a good um, good resolution, and I also didn't want to redraw it. So I ended up just focusing on that title rather than trying to redraw that actual stamp, which which in in reality, if I did that, it would have looked better on the final um, project or the final mockups. But yeah, other than that, this is design, design one. I kind of like it. I kind of like the art style, but for design two, I want to make something more, more poppy, more colors, more me, I guess, because I'm following the art direction of the original art. Design two, I wanted to be focused on my art style with everything that I do. Design two is a new style of vintage graphic that I'm working on. Um, it's more so focused on getting that drawn in effect from them 70, 60 posters where you see like the vintage hand painted um, posters. Uh, yet again, if you guys want me to do a video on how I get this effect with the threshold, let me know and I'll do a whole video de dedicated to doing this new vintage effect, I guess. Finding images for uh, this design was driving me crazy because finding good images of Tyler the Creator like full body, full body currently is very hard. I know there's a lot of old photos, but with my designs, especially with vintage graphics, I like it to keep it within the era of whatever that album is or whatever that song is, like the Giveon poster or the Giveon graphic. Um, I just wanted up going on IG and Google to try and find all the good images it was a combination of both a lot of people ask me where i get high quality images from i'm guessing it's just my eye because i don't look for quality images just because i know i'm going to be using a lot of effects on them i guess so that's not really an issue
So yeah, the idea behind the second design is more so Tyler traveling throughout the album. You hear him talk about references in regards to him being in different locations and people not being able to reach him. So I wanted to incorporate that as well as the original art direction, which was a vintage traveling kit. Um, if you looked at his original merch that he had for this project. So I wanted to bring that feel into the design, but also with my own twist, I guess. Um, and you guys will start to see that. The worst part about designing is cutting out images. I hate it so much. Photoshop needs to upgrade the stretch tool, to be honest, because even when I use it, I still need to go back in and edit um, out the background if the background is too noisy. However, for this project, I like this. Um, I, I like this because I don't have to focus too much on the cutouts and making them too clean because I know I'll go in and edit everything and distort it anyway so a little bit of rough edges isn't such a bad thing but when you're doing major client work make sure to go in and cut out all your images make sure they're very sharp go in with a brush tool just take your time but for this I just did it for the night so that was it I did a little draft placement, then I went back into Illustrator to work on the patches that will go on the suitcase. I hit uh, a creative block when I was designing patches for the suitcase, which is going to be the focal point of this graphic, um, if you see the little draft that I did. Um, so I ended up using inspiration from Golf Wang. Like I just went to Golf Wang and took the star of Golf Wang, not the star, I mean the flower of Golf Wang, and then using that original Call Me If You Want Me that I got off the title. And then making this one that I kind of don't like, but it's a patch, so it's going to be small and you won't really notice it. So that's not really an issue, I guess. To make it look like the stickers are actually on the suitcase, I did use the uh, texture or shadow extraction that I did with the cell phone as well. And um, bringing that graphic underneath that texture to make sure you can see like the texture of the original suitcase on top of the um, stickers that I made. So that's that's a pretty cool skill. I, I'm starting to implement DAO a lot now whenever I'm designing. I like to make a shadow and highlight um, layer on top of my mock-up and then put in my images underneath that because that really makes a huge difference. To make it more personal, I custom drew in some titles with a brush tool on a tablet and use the original album art as a centerpiece. I also use the original album art colors to tie it in and make that visual flow. Um, and also you can see visual hierarchy because it's pointing towards the bag that says call me if you get lost. So that was a key point in that design I guess. As you guys know, I've already done a vintage graphic tee. I'm just using a threshold to get that vintage look, I guess. 
um, but yeah like I said if you guys want me to do a full video on that just hit me up or comment in the comment section and let me know and I'll do a full video on how I get that threshold look it's not that hard all you need is a couple of textures the threshold and also a gradient map if you really want to get that look and feel As a custom, we know I always do my designs in three. So the last design is usually a simple thing, nothing too serious and not my favorite design, honestly. But I didn't know what I was doing for this last design. And I just started playing around with the star and like the orientation of that 70s font that I picked. Um, and yeah, that was that design, nothing too major. Uh, very simple it took me about five minutes, but it was the it was at the end of my night It was around 1159 when I started finishing this last design. So I was getting really tired And then lastly for the design aspect, I started working on the front of all my designs. And for this, um, I wanted to create a visual flow and keep those same elements. So I got the Tyler the Creator travel card, used the um, extract shadow layer so you could put that on top and color in the card yourself. And I ended up making my own little custom Tyler travel cards. There's one that follows each of the design styles that I did for the back graphics. And I think that is a very cool touch. Um, it turned out pretty sick. I really love how it looks. your final design coming together um, and the whole travel 70s Tyler the creator type theme with those creamy washed out colors is a pretty cool look and like I said whoever is behind the art direction of Tyler the creator is doing a really great job and without further ado Let's get straight into the mock-ups. This is the most fun part about designing, I guess, looking at Design one is a telephone with call me if you get lost and the number underneath it. Call me if you get lost and the number underneath it. 
Um, I would rate this design out of 10, a solid 7 out of 10. Just because I think the back is a little too plain for me. I like a lot of busyness and a lot of graphics on the back when it comes to designing these type of things. Um, but I really love how it turned out, especially with the phone and the mock-up of the phone that I did. I might actually just release a mock-up of the phone by itself if you guys really want that for free. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sick, I guess. Design 2 is more so focused on a vintage graphic that I'm playing with. The vintage graphic style that I'm playing with, I mean. But yeah, I really love this design. This is probably my favorite. I rated it an 8.5 out of 10. Just because I think I could have done better in um, uh, brushing those brushes and those custom hand-drawn things that I put in. Because it does look kind of messy at the moment. And I could have cleaned it up a little bit. But the whole idea is to make it look messy like a scrapbook drawing page. But yeah, other than that, that's my... The color for the hoodie turned out pretty sick. And is my favorite out of the four that I designed. Design three is something more simple. Um, just that little design that I did in Illustrator. And then all three of the different travel cards that I made of Tyler the Creator. This turned out pretty sick and I loved how the travel cards look on the back of the shirt and if this was printed i'll probably get this shirt first other than the rest of the items but yeah this turned out pretty sick uh, i'd give it a solid seven out of ten for that one design four the last design i actually just doing uh, my dickies mock-up uh jacket and put the travel card on front and then Call me if you get lost really back, like really big on the back. And that is a very simple way of finishing off the design uh, style. I just wanted to add it in just to close off the collection. I really love how it turned out though. Um, and if you can get a Dickies jacket in that green color, that would be very sick. But yeah, other than that, that's it. I really love how that one turned out actually, the Dickies jacket. That was very so spontaneous. I didn't plan on doing that for a mock-up, but I just thought three wasn't enough for this project of Tyler the Creator. Hey guys um, thank you if you made it to the end of the video and if you want to support the channel check out the links in the description my personal site that has all my personal assets that you guys can purchase or get the free ones it's totally up to you but it does help a lot if you guys do purchase premium assets and if you guys haven't listened to the title of the creator album make sure to go check it out because it is a sick album I've listened to it about three times now. I'm listening to it as I record this right now anyway. But without further ado, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Take care.